if a ball is thrown vertically upward with a velocity of 80 feet per second its height is given by this function this is the height or the position function answer the following questions in part a we have to find the velocity that's the rate of change of this height okay so part a rate of change that means we need to find the derivative let's say velocity v at t is the derivative of height function or the position function let's find the derivative derivative is like 80x minus 16x square okay that's 80 minus uh, 32t that's the velocity at any time t but we want the velocity after one second so replace t by one so v at one is 80 minus 32 times 132 and 80 minus 32 is just 48 and units so rate of change so feet per second in part b we need to find the maximum height reached by the ball so height okay we are supposed to find the height and this is the height function by the way so if we know the time needed to get to the maximum height as soon as we find the time then we plug that time in here and this function gives us the height okay so we need to find the time required to get the maximum height and what happens when we uh, throw something up so it goes the velocity decreases decreases at some point the velocity becomes zero and it starts to drop okay there is a ground this is the path that's the max height at max height the velocity becomes zero and we have found the velocity here this is the velocity function so for max height we are trying to find the time required to get maximum height if for maximum height the velocity is zero we set the velocity zero that is 80 minus 32 t equals zero solve for t move 80 over negative 32 t equals subtract 80 from both sides uh, negative negative can be cancelled uh, divided by 32 so t equals 80 divided by 32 uh, you can use your calculator and that gives 2.5 so it requ it uh, needs 2.5 seconds to get to the maximum height okay this is not the answer this is the time required to get to the maximum height and what is the maximum height now we plug this time into the height function that's given in the original question so max height is in fact 80 t t is 2.5 minus 16 2.5 is square now you can use your calculator and it comes out to be 100 feet 100 and height is 100 feet okay let's move to the third question see what is the velocity of the ball when it is 96 feet above the ground on the way up okay so maximum height is we just found 100 feet and the ball can get to 96 feet in two different times so 96 somewhere here 96 feet that's on the way up here and on the way down so we need to find the velocity of the ball so velocity of the ball when the ball is at this height 96 so we know the height 96 we all we need all the time is the time the time required to get to that height okay so we set the height equals 96 find the time then we plug that time into the uh, velocity function and velocity function we found 80 minus 32 t so we set height equals 96 and go back to the question uh, the height function is given in the question that's 80 t minus 16 t squared equals 96 now we solve this equation for t uh, negative 16 t squared so let's move everything to the right side or 0 equals when we move everything this negative becomes positive 16 t squared 80 t move that over negative 80 t and we already have 96 in the right hand side all three terms are unlike terms so there is no uh, we cannot simplify anything 
Now let's solve this quadratic equation by the way. This is a quadratic equation, t squared. So we'll have two values of t. So we want to find those two times. And by the way, those two times will be getting to this 96 feet height on the way up and on the way down. So the smaller time is to is when it gets to 96 feet on the way up and the larger time is when it's on the way down. So to solve, look, 16, 80, 96. Uh, 16 goes 80, 16 also goes 96. So we can factor 16 out here. And I want to write equals zero on the right hand side. That's t squared minus 5t plus 6 equals zero. So it's a trinomial. So we have to make right hand side zero. Now times 16, we can divide through, divide both sides by 16. Then we get t squared minus 5t plus 6 equals zero. Now we solve, we factor and solve for t. Uh, when we factor this trinomial, we get t, t, t squared, 6, 2 times 3, 6, and 2 and five, 3 make 5. So negative, negative. So using the zero factor property, this implies t equals 2 and t equals 3. So it takes 2 or 3 seconds to get to 96 feet. And now it's kind of clear, on the way up, it takes only two seconds and get to the maximum height. And if you try to combine with the previous log, it took 2.5 seconds to get to the max height and 96 feet again on the way down, that's three seconds. So we are using two seconds because the question wants us to find the velocity on the way up. So velocity after two seconds. Now velocity after two seconds and if you look at the part A, the velocity was found 80 minus 32 t. So 80 minus 32 t, the time is 2 now. Uh, 32 times 2 is 64, 80 minus 64, uh, that's just 16. Okay, and that's feet per second again. And finally, the fourth part D was, part D was with what velocities does the ball hit the ground? Okay, so we want to find the velocity of this ball when it hits the ground here. So ground means the height is zero. So we want to calculate the time for the ball to get to the maximum height and come to the ground. So we calculate the time because ground means the uh, height yes, is zero. So we set the height equals zero and find the time and we plug that time into the velocity function because we want to find the velocity of the ball okay velocity uh, on impact so ground level means the height is zero so, so set the height zero that is what is the height read the question go to back to the question that's 80t minus 16t square equals zero solve for t uh, 16 goes 80, so 16 out t, we can factor 16 t, and then that's uh, 5 minus t equals 0. So this implies here is times so 16 t equals 0 means t equals 0, and 5 minus t equals 0 means t equals 5. So t equals 0 and 5. So it makes sense. Okay, 0 means before we threw the ball, it was on the ground that time t equals zero and five makes sense because we found 2.5 seconds to get to the maximum height so 2.5 on the way up 2.5 on the way down to the ground so five okay if you we didn't have to find in this way we could have said five seconds because it took 2.5 seconds to get to the max height 2.5 down 2.55 okay it takes five seconds to hit the ground now we want to find the velocity on impact okay now velocity after five seconds again the velocity was found in uh, part a that was 80 minus 32 t so in this case 80 minus 32 times 5 now 32 times 5 160 and 80 minus 160 is just negative 80 so negative because it's going downward and feet per second okay final 